Hello, and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed, where I talk about anything Star Wars. I'm Richard, and it's Room Tour 2020, as requested by Jeff Stark. All right, let's get started. Star Wars 10th Anniversary Poster that's numbered and signed by artist Drew Struzan. I got this at Disneyland way back in the 80s. So moving up, carded figures. All these figures I've had since their initial release. These two lunchboxes were given to me by a friend back in 1988. This one I was able to purchase a later date. This collector case gun I got back in 1983. And Here's a lightsaber remote control. This is my only Black Series figure in that kind of box. And here is my shelf of misfit figures. I don't have a playset where I can display these. So they are just on the shelf to be displayed. And here is the micro collection Hoth World Complete. I've had that since the 80s. And I if I remember correctly, I got it when they, you know, the, the set didn't sell very well, so the price was greatly reduced. I was able to uh, just purchase the whole thing at a very low cost. And then I also got Death Star World from the Micro Collection. And this is the only tin that I've had since the 80s. These two, these three I decided to get at a later date. And this is a pill box. I've had this since the 80s. And this holds my excess weapons and accessories for my vintage figures. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. And the wings work. <laughs> my original VHS copies of the trilogy. And my original pin buttons, buttons from the 80s. Buttons from the 80s. A collection of vintage figures. I These also I don't have a place to display them. Except for on the shelf. And I happened to put this... I didn't even realize that. As I was doing this. But I put this box puzzle. And the picture has all these figures in a group together. Just like this. I didn't make that connection until recently. Gary pointed it out actually. Hardware Wars, signed by Princess Android. This is my vintage Jawa Droid Factory with, with extra droid parts. Since I don't have any, pl any uh, parts to add to these. And here is the Luke Skywalker with double telescoping lightsaber in this plastic clear case to keep her protected. Up here, my large size action figures. The Luke Skywalker is the one that I've had since its initial release, which I was, what was it, 78, 79? That's been with me since, since then. This one I got at the Starlock Salutes Star Wars 10th anniversary in 1987. I got C3PO, and this R2D2 was given to me by a friend in 1988. And the rest I got on eBay. Right there is another VHS set of the Star Wars trilogy, and I believe that one is also a VHS set of the Star Wars trilogy. And that is a set of cards for Star Wars, the art of Star Wars, Star Wars Galaxy, or however it is. Uh, my Star Wars pop-up book is over there. Up here I have the only Hot Wheels cars, Star Wars related, and other carded figures. And I put the Empire Strikes Back figures in this shadow box. That I got as part of the as part of the original Star Wars fan club. This I got during the excitement of The Force Awakens. Okay, original Star Wars poster. And the Galaxy's Edge Millennium Falcon. 
Smugglers run, Millennium Falcon. So awesome. Aren't you come back at once? You don't know how to fix the hyperdrive. <laughs> you did it! Yay! So I was also collecting Star Wars plates in the 90s. My Star Wars towel. My large size Darth Vader. The Darth Vader's collector's case. And my original force lightsaber that I've had since the 80s. My original Death Star Space Station playset. More plates. And then that is something, that's just a card. It's like a postcard. And then TIE Interceptor. I got, I purchased from a friend who was selling his collection. My box of the original Pepperidge Farm cookies that I actually saved some cookies. And I thought this mural was really cool. I wanted to get it. It's for the 30th anniversary of Star Wars. And then my original Rebel Troop Transporter. And I purchased these. This is a very nice gift from Troy. And these are from Stan Solo Creations. Unique, uh, custom vintage style figures. They look fantastic. And the Ralph McQuarrie collection. All right, here is a vintage sand crawler. And my little display with the Lars and Luke Skywalker. And this is the sand crawler I got at Disneyland. And the populate, this is the figure that came with it, and also that Jawa came with it. And these are other droids that I got from Entertainment Earth. And my original vintage cups that I've had since the 80s. I actually used them, drank out of them, I ate cereal. I had a lot of fun with these. This is the electronic R2D2. This is the remote controlled R2D2 that actually got working recently. And BB-8 and the original books from back in the day. And in this shelf, just a lot of the carded figures and stuff that I've been collecting and just haven't been able to open them yet. And here's also another set of my collection that I just don't have places for. So I just decided to just put it down here. And another shelf of collectibles. That's the, that, the Chewbacca Bandolier I've had since the 80s. You can see that the foam is totally degraded and is gone. My stack of original vintage card backs. And here's my Hoth display with all original vintage play sets. Oh, look at that. Star Wars Obsessed. A sign Give It To Me by Shane from Australia. I love it. Looks great. The only thing that was with me from childhood was this this set, the um, Imperial Attack Base. And that one I got from my parents, but, and this one I got, I per, um, not, this one I got from a friend who was giving away his collection in the late 80s, this one right here. But this I purchased not too long ago, and also this I purchased not too long ago, this set. These metallic cards that were selling in the 90s. And these 90s figures that I decided to finally open up. Well, this was not from the 90s. This is from the 30th anniversary collection. And up here is the Fabulous Barge. And then my original vintage. Um, I forgot the name of this. Sand Skimmer? Is that what it's called? And then my original vintage Skiff along with the Vintage Collection Skiff. And then my Vintage Carded Figures. And then a few collections, the Vintage Collection up there, patches that I got from the Fan Club. Okay, more Vintage Goodness. See, some 
Vintage Emperor. That one's not, but Vintage Emperor's Royal Guard. And the Imperial Dignitary. The Imperial Shuttle. That's the at at from the 90s. And a little bit of sequel trilogy stuff right there. That up there, all vintage, all vintage items, the catalogs, the booklets, cards, and vintage B Wing with vintage, vintage pilots. Okay, and A Wing. I got that not too long ago. This snow speeder has been with me since childhood. This Millennium Falcon is with me since childhood, and this Slave One since childhood. Down here are a bag of carded figures that I have yet to open. I just keep, I collect faster than I open them. And here's the thing of a playset. I'm really upset about this because I. Did everything I did. I I did everything I could to to take care of this, and I'm missing the one piece. I don't know how. I'm missing the piece that you put in the R2D2 so he can levitate. I don't know how that happened. I'm just so frustrated about that. But other than that, it's in great condition. Well, the foam didn't last. This one was with me back in the day. It's a pencil sharpener. And the necklace, I had that in my childhood. I got that as well in my childhood. The Star Wars collector's case, look how messed up it is. Well, that's because I used it. I got this way back in the day. And, it, and I used it a lot. I, I put my figures in it. I carried it around. I loved it. I, I love this so much. It's very well worn. And here is a collection of Star Wars collectibles that I got in Japan, in Akihabara. And the original Dawn Post helmet, I actually wore that one year for Halloween. And that is actually an 8-track tape of the Star Wars soundtrack. And this is a R2-D2 phone that I actually used for a while. And that's the original Wicket plush and Darth Vader speakerphone. I decided to take a lot of the instructions and frame them to keep them well protected. And here's another one that's framed. Sorry about the glare, but I need the light. And I have the original vintage carded figures protected. Original poster and the vintage Ewok Village and the original vintage at at and it's populated with a mix of vintage figures and current figures oh and the vintage atst back there from my childhood another one from my childhood but when this came out i was in high school is that still considered my childhood the land of the jawas this was given to me in 1988 from a friend and the electronic R2-D2 back there. This is the re-release of the Dubak. And some vintage Tusken Raiders. Power of the Force Bantha. I love how it looks. Love the hair on it. It looks great. Down here we have the mini rigs. All the mini rigs. The only mini rig that was with me since my childhood is this one and this one. These other ones I got recently. And down here, this is the only vintage item I have here is this, this Emperor's Royal Guard collectible eraser. So now we have, I put the movies there and the vintage Darth Vader's collector's case. I have the Star Wars trilogy. Okay, these are the stories. Stories of the Empire Strikes Back. I have all of them on the record. And my Escape from Death Star game that I had back in the day. And my original Jabba's playset with Jabba's Palace. This one I got back in the day. Populated with all my vintage and current figures. The survival gear from Kenner. 
Okay, all my original vintage figures here. Original comic book, calendar, storybook. Here's my Darth Vader's Star Destroyer that was given to me by a friend in 1988. Populated with all these wonderful vintage figures, except for one right there. And there's a vintage TIE Fighter, vintage comic books. There, this was with me. This came out in the 70s. And up here we have the Vintage Cantina, the Creature Cantina. Another item given to me by a friend in 1988. He was just giving away his stuff. And I decided to put mostly vintage figures on the Cantina. But then in the Cantina from the 90s, this I populated with all the other figures. And then up here, the C-3PO collector's case, unopened, and then opened, back there. <laughs> it's the Millennium Falcon collector's case from the 90s, and then this lenticular, can you see this? This is from the Star Wars fan club, and then more of the instruction sheets framed, and then down to the side here, I have more vintage comic books. And then I have more uh, figures, carded figures up here. These two book books house my vintage card collection. I'm currently working on this stack of cards for the card of the day. And I have a variety of books. Some from back in the 70s and 80s, and then some more current. And another large size vintage Stormtrooper. And here's this one of these flyers that came with toys. Revenge of the Jedi. A book with a record. I love this, a Star Wars vault. Here's my first 12 figures on the original action stand. And the Rancor with the Rancor Keeper. And the Escape from Death Star game, the original. Up here, another vintage TIE Fighter. This one given to me from the friend way back in 1988. With more comic books, Star Wars comic books. These little toys from Taco Bell from the 90s. And this perk up sticker set from the 80s. And then up here, it's the BB 8 playset to make it look like the base on the Starkiller planet. And then some 90, 90s figures up there. And over here, we have these Presto Magics that I decided to frame because I found it in a book one day. Opened one of my Star Wars books and I found this in there. and. I was like so excited, so I just decided to frame it. And more 90s figures. And this is a joke. It's Alderaan, and you see rocks in the little bag right there. Postcards. Some comic packs. And then I decided to dress this room up to make it look more Star Wars-y. And then I decided to get the the gold collection, the Skywalker Saga collection, because the end of the five POA figures. And then some more Stan Solo and the Fan Strike Back custom figures. They look great. I love those. And original card backs. Here's my Rebellion display. Here's my original uh, Star Wars fan club membership card. And then I got, when I renewed, I got another one, but I didn't write on it. I just kept that one. And the Droid Maker blueprints, more of the catalogs to drool over all those wonderful Star Wars toys. There it goes. In this case is the lightsaber that I got from Savi's workshop in Galaxy's Edge. It's the Han Solo Blaster. That is something that I got more recently. 
And here's the sonic controlled land speeder that I still haven't been able to get to fix because it needs pieces that are missing. Here is my Cloud City playset with Escape from Cloud City. And then down here, the Imperial Troop Transporter. And the, the shampoo bottle. The Troop Transporter storybook is right there. Some Hot Wheels, Starships. And then down here, video games, Star Wars video games. And the original candies from Return of the Jedi. And it still has candy. That right there is a birthday card. And I put the tattooing skiff and the we really do care Death Star Space Station instruction sheet. And this is this is a custom. Uh, it's a tribute to Carrie Fisher. So from the 80s and it's something that I didn't use. Some of the Star Wars collectibles I used and some I didn't. I don't know how I chose. But this one I didn't use. I bought that and same with the toothbrush. I didn't I decided not to use it back in the day. Just kept it. And here are some original vintage figures. The Emperor, uh, Imperial Gunner, Prune Face. And these are just current. And this is the 30th anniversary Boba Fett. And some more carded figures up there from the 90s. Those are postcards. My one and only figure from Ewoks. And this is the limited edition Luke Skywalker and Imperial Stormtrooper outfit from Smith Lord Creations and the Fan Strike Back. It looks great. And this is something I got years ago and it's a it's an original R5D4 but on a reproduction card back. It looks pretty good. And various other carded figures. And I had to get those two because that's Baby Leia and Baby Luke. Well, that's Room Tour 2020. I hope you enjoyed the tour as much as I did giving the tour. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next Star Wars Obsessed.